The shocking case of Kira Brayford speaks volumes to the perils of donating to good causes online. On Britain's secret charity Cheats, we've seen that criminals have targeted national tragedies, like Grenfell, for financial gain. I can remember him just coming back every day, getting, this, you know, getting bags of things, like five or six pairs of jeans or T-shirts. Literally, I felt sick to my stomach. But with so many wanting to give in cases of national disasters affecting a whole community, or to individuals they read about online, how can we be sure that our donations end up where we intend? I'm now joined by David Clark from the Fraud Advisory Panel. David, welcome to the programme. Why do you think crowdfunding-related fraud is on the rise? What we've had the last 10 years, five years, is an advance, an explosion of online uh, communications and abilities to transfer money. So who's there? The criminals are there, mm. and they're going to try and exploit this. Fraudsters will always be ahead of any technology, any trends. They're really on, on message when it comes to technology. Why are the criminals cleverer than us? That's a very good question, isn't it? They are cleverer than us. I'll tell you why, for one of the things, they are devious, they are uncaring, sinister, they've got a very different mindset, that's how they keep ahead of us. So do we have two trains of thought then? Do we think, A, yes, we do want to give, but B, more importantly, make sure we know who we're giving it to? Precisely. In every kind of giving, whether it's on the street, whether it's online, being on the lookout for, for frauds and people trying to trick you and abuse your generosity, so vital. Always give to, give to a, a charity on platforms that are reputable. You know, despicably, people are faking cancer to scam thousands of pounds through crowdfunding. Like Kira Brayford, who we saw in the film there. How do we know people are who they say they are? You've always, with giving online, got to put your heart a little bit to one side, just for a moment, let your head detective kit kick in, and play detective. With a photograph, whenever you see people, a lot of people who fall for fraud, they don't realise that online, on Google, you can do a little right click, do this image search. Who is this person? Yeah. Very often, this person doesn't exist or, or they're a fictitious person. That should start to send the alarm bells. If you've got a suspicion, don't be embarrassed. Report it to Action Fraud. They could then use all the information and the intelligence, piece the picture together, Stop it, take down websites, get these people prosecuted and, and recover money. Well, thanks, David. I feel enlightened now having spoken to you, and hopefully members of the public will, will feel a little bit safer with, with that knowledge that you've given us today. Thank you. I hope so. I hope so. So, David's top tips for avoiding being the next victim of an online scam are only donate through well-established crowdfunding sites. If you don't know the organiser of the campaign personally, do some research and check for fundraiser updates. Reliable organisers tend to keep supporters regularly informed.